Missouri. Whew, the weather's not exactly on our side, but we're in Honey Hole. We're going after this boner that we found his shed 130 yards from here. We saw him last year in here. Um, we checked one camera. There was a big buck on it. We couldn't tell which one. And uh, we got another camera to check right, right in this spot, too. So, only time will tell, I guess. We'll see what happens. Well, I'll be honest, I really still don't know what to say. Uh, we came down here, about a six hour drive, um, and we scouted scouted this place on aerial maps and got boots on the ground a couple weeks ago, and we know there's bigger bucks in here, but we crept into this bedding area, cut him off going to his food source, and uh, 88 degrees, we really didn't expect to get it done the first night. It wasn't an observation set, we were getting aggressive, but. And that's what you gotta do on these public land, you know, quick trips, but we uh, we got it done. Night number one. Um, man, it all it all came together perfectly. We we it was pretty slow up until about dark and finally I, I saw something off in the brush, you know, make making a looked like it was making a rub. And I said to Josh, I said, You think I should grunt? And he said it wouldn't hurt. I got the grunt tube out. And then two minutes my, my tag was filled, so I couldn't be happier with him. It's a good public land buck, um, but this is only the beginning of the season, so we got a lot more to come. But Missouri, Missouri tags are punched. You know, I was I was telling Josh a little bit ago. There's this there's this weird feeling that uh, that I get when I'm hunting deer. So I mean, the chase I think is is the most fun part for me because. After I'm, I get that kill, and that anticipated kill, in a place like Missouri, I mean, I, I've done all the scouting, I, you, do, you put in all the work basically, there's like this depressing feeling that it's over. And I think that's what kind of keeps me motivated to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. It's like a never ending cycle. But what it really makes me realize is that I honestly think that I enjoy the chase more than I actually enjoy the kill. It's a weird feeling but that's just the reality of it for me, I guess.